People often ask whether you can use transfer paper for light fabrics, such as Jetpro Soft Stretch and Techniprint, for dark fabrics. You can use it, but the results will vary depending on the different coloured substrate and the nature of the design you wish to transfer. So today we are going to be showing you these results using different coloured fabrics and to help you understand what you can do with this type of paper. As we have described before in our other videos, the key difference you need to remember between a paper for light fabrics and the one for dark is that the film transferred to the substrate from a paper for light fabrics becomes clear after heat pressing, so only the ink you have printed will be visible, while the film for paper for dark fabrics remains white or opaque, so the ink on top of it is not affected by the colour of the substrate. This means if you are transferring an image with any areas of white in it, it will work on white fabrics in the same way it would if you were printing the image using a white piece of paper. As soon as you transfer onto any other colour, the areas of white will turn into that colour and the colour will affect the rest of the image also. For the following examples, we are going to use this version of our logo which features a wide range of colours so we can see how they look when on the different fabrics. Also, we are going to leave the surrounding unprinted area here so we can see how this shows up as well. You could obviously cut this much closer to minimise this issue. So to begin, let's take a look at this image transferred onto a white t-shirt using JetPro Soft Stretch. As you can see, the colours have transferred as they are in the original image and the unprinted areas of the transfer are very hard to see. Here we have pressed the same image using the same paper onto a light pink t-shirt. As you can see, the colour of the image is still quite close to the original, but any areas unprinted are now pink, such as here. If we wanted this area to also remain white, we would need to use a paper for dark fabrics. Also, the unprinted film area tends to be more visible on a light colour fabric than on a white fabric. And now we have the same image transferred onto a bold turquoise shirt. It is clearly apparent the colour from the fabric is shining through the image, and any unprinted areas are very visible. For this version, we have used a Margot t-shirt and applied the image with the surrounded unprinted areas, which you can see here, and the mild texture has come through in the image. With a paper for dark fabrics, this would not be the case. We have also transferred a closely cut and weeded version here, which looks better, but still shows the fabric through the image. Some users deliberately use papers for light fabrics in this way to create an almost vintage or weathered look. Finally, here is the same image on a black t-shirt. As you can see, the image has been completely overpowered by the colour of the fabric. And all you can really see is the film layer rather than the image. A final point to consider, if you were to transfer an image which was black onto a fairly light fabric, you could achieve results which might be preferable to ones you would achieve with paper for a dark fabric. To demonstrate, here is the distressed version of our logo in black on a light pink t-shirt which works quite well. But when applied to a darker colour, the unprinted film areas are very noticeable. This could be improved greatly by closely cutting and weeding the image, or by using self-weeding paper. We hope this will help you understand how your substrate will affect your image. Thank you for watching.